video, I want to talk about how to work different cable types in this particular sweater. This is the, going to be the fall or autumn for in Ireland um, 2018 knit along sweater with Blue Moon Fiber Arts. And the cable down the front is a fairly complex cable that is worked from the top down. Now, cables by their very nature are never particularly complex because all you're doing is crossing stitches over other stitches and knitting them or purling them. Um, where the complexity comes in is the kind of problems you can encounter if things are changing behind a cable. Because as you get used to cables and you start working through, as you cross a stitch over another stitch, such as in this one, you've got a knit stitch crossed with a knit stitch, and when it comes out the other side, they all stay knit stitches. However, what happens in more complex cables is it uses the cable cross to change what happens behind them. So in this case, you've got a twisted ribbing. So you've got a twisted knit stitch, a purl stitch, a twisted knit stitch. As this crosses over them, the two, this being the two knit stitches, you'll have two knit stitches crossed over with, this is coming from this direction, of course, where you've got your twisted knit and your purl. When they come out here, they become purl, and it's the same over here. So these stitches are changing when they cross over here to just purl, and the same on this side, they're changing to just purl when they cross over here. It's the opposite down here. As we come up here, these knit stitches, and you've got purl stitches going in, but it comes out the other side as a twisted ribbing. Now, if you follow exactly the symbols as laid out in the chart, you won't have any problem with seeing what goes on. But as you get more comfortable with cables, you actually run into problems with this type of cable because you'll instinctively just knit your knit stitches and purl your purl stitches. So what I would suggest is always make sure that you swatch the cable that's going to go into the pattern. And if there's particular cable stitches that you find you regularly trip up on, so such as these ones crossing over or the same crossing over here or here, get a highlighter, highlight across them. And so when you're working them in the pattern, you're not going to trip over them and forget to change them as you go across them because the highlighter will indicate to you that something a little different is happening and to just be aware of them. They're no more difficult to work. They're only tricky because they're not what you're expecting to see in that particular place. Mm -hmm.